In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create seven circular options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first headline comes, you can add the headline here and the first title comes. You can see here option number one with different color combination, the title and the detailed text. You can add it. Likewise, you can use some different color for the remaining options. And I have created one more slide where it is somewhat bigger. You can see here I have just made it somewhat wider also. So depending on your requirement, you can just choose the slide from. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide. Go to insert shapes. From the stars and banners, I'm going to choose the seven point star. Draw the seven point star by holding the shift key. Maybe this much size. And then you can see the small orange point. Just drag this inside so it becomes like this. And then go to align center, align middle. If you want to increase the size further, you can hold the control shift key and you can just increase the size. All right. So once this is done, I'm going to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape, draw the oval shape, maybe this much size. You can increase or decrease later on, no problem with that. Shape outline, I'm making it no outline and then go to insert shapes. I'm going to choose this triangle, draw the triangle. Again, shape outline, no outline and rotate. I'm just going to make it flip vertical and put this here like this. So you end up getting a shape, something like this. Then I'm going to copy this shape to the rest of the options. Before that, you need to go and add one oval shape here so that it aligns perfectly. So you can see here, I'm just going to make it maybe this much size and then align center, align middle. And you can see here it is touching here. And if you like to reduce the size again, you can hold the control shift key if you want. And then if you want to increase the size of this again, hold the control shift key, you can increase the size and this also you can increase the size and put it like this. So you need to spend a little bit of time here. And once this is done, I'm going to select this triangle and this oval shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge shape and making it union. So it becomes one shape here. Then I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and just rotate this one using this one. You can see here, I just want to bring it here like this and bring it closer. Something like this, you can see here. Again, press Ctrl D again using this one. I'm just going to rotate it and give the equal size or uh, sorry the, the the distance you can see here if you feel that uh, it's not coming correctly you can just realign once again not a problem with that you can see here again press ctrl d all right not two more is there let me just do it quickly and one more you can see here we have done this uh, with this so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm just going to duplicate this one all right and i'll keep it here and then those points you know which i have to delete this one you can see here this one i have to select and delete this one i don't need this one all right now for this also I'm just going to duplicate this one and keep it aside somewhere here and this shape I'm going to increase the size for that first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to right mouse click go to the format shape make it somewhat transparent shape outline I'm making it no outline and then hold the control shift key and increase the size so it should come covering uh, like the starting point like this. Or maybe if I give some different color, you can identify and bring to front. So you can see here like this, it has covered. All right. So once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these shapes and merge shape, make it fragment. Once you fragment this one, I am deleting this part. Now you can see it is separate happened here. So now 
for this i'm going to choose one background any light background you can just choose you can see here if you want more darker background you can just put some more darker and these colors i'm going to fill this with white and make it white so you can see here and now these colors you can just choose any color of your choice now you can see here the transparency level is there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all remove the transparency level so it becomes more brighter and this one you can just choose any color of your choice for example i'm just going to choose some random colors if you want you can fill this one with gradient color as well so you can see here i'm just choosing some random colors here all right so i'm just going to choose maybe uh, this color and i'm going to choose maybe this color all right once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this in the center all right you can just say align center align middle shape outline no outline if you want you can give uh, a different color here all right maybe i'm going to give some gray color press ctrl d to duplicate hold the ctrl shift key to reduce the size shape fill i'm going to give it white and put it in the center if you want you can just increase the size a little bit let me just reduce the size yeah so you can see here uh, like this all right so once this is done what you can do the next thing is you can add some shadow effect here so go to insert shapes select the old shape draw the old shape like this shape outline no outline shape fill fill it with black increase the transparency like this and then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size all right and then i'm just going to put it like this and send this to back all right press ctrl d i'm just adding a shadow effect like this you can see here and just duplicate now i'm just selecting all these shadow effects and send this to back so you can see your shadow effect has been created and once this is done you can add the option numbers here so go to insert text box and i'm going to type option number one center align make it bold choose any font of your choice i'm choosing roboto this is one press ctrl d you can see here one by one like this so this is one this is two three four five six and seven so you can see the seven options here and then you can add some detailed text to it so go to insert text box i'm going to type title again center aligned make it bold i'm going to choose the same font if you want you can reduce the size put it like this here and then add some detailed text here add detail text here again center align i'm going to choose the same font i'm choosing the color uh, light gray reduce the size and put it in the center so both of this i'm going to duplicate this and i'm just going to copy one by one these options here you can see here just add the options like this yeah and one more yes so you can see here we have added the option now for this title i'm going to duplicate this one bring it down and i'm going to say headline make it increase the size 
and put it in the center so you can see here we have completed this design and if you like to do some basic animation what you need to do is you need to first of all group this all these things press ctrl g one by one you can see you need to group it along with the shadow i'm just grouping it one by one i'm just with the help of this mouse you can see here i'm grouping let me just group this now and then this is the last one and these things also three things i'm grouping it so now very easy animation i'm going to do go to the animations enable the animation pane the first thing should come add animation more entrance effect select basic zoom click ok it comes like this you can see here and then the first option should come now the first option now you've got variety of different animation effects are there so whichever effect which you feel you can add it here for example if i say stretch up it comes like this all right or if i just say a uh, wipe it comes like this so which of you feel it's easy and it's uh, a creative add that one so i'm just going to choose a wipe effect and this should happen okay on click then using the animation painter i'm going to choose the third one you can see here or you can just select this one double click and click on each option all right so once this is done you need to just choose from which direction it should come okay it should come from left right okay you can see here it should come like this this should come uh, maybe from the top all right this should come from right maybe okay this also should come from right this should come from maybe right also so now if i play one two three four five six and seven so this is how it looks